Hi everyone, welcome to this week's short attention span webinar. This week, Kelly Malazzi, we are going to go on a journey. Ooh. Pack your bags. Can't we're going to start with prospect. We're going to work through customer. We're going to end up with client. Mm -hmm. All right, so what are we talking about here, Kelly? Well, essentially, it starts with someone that you suspect you might want to do business with. So that's a prospect, somebody that you hope to do business with. And that's when you're in kind of the dating phase of courting them. You're sending them love letters and you're calling and leaving messages and sending emails and, and trying to woo them and trying to convince them with your very powerful, meaningful language that you have something of value to say. Okay. Um, so that's, you know, again, that's in the, the kind of wooing phase that so many of us find ourselves in so much of the time when we're trying to develop new business. Okay. And then so, that moves, that, then we move from customer to client. So then you get the date and they actually order from you and now you're dating. Now you've, um, so now you, they've ordered an order from you. Okay. And things are going really well. You're... Right. You got the order, they liked your prices, they loved your customer service rep, you got the order done on time, maybe even early, everything's rosy. So that's looking good, but it's only one order at this point, so it's still, it's still pretty new. And the tendency here is to say, thank you for being my customer, thank you very much, let me know if you need anything else, and right. then you can turn over here to go prospect for new business, yep. and forgetting about this customer. What we ultimately want is a loyal give and take relationship. Mm -hmm. So my, uh, let's see, I guess my ultimate is I want to, I'm happy to give you my ideas. I am happy to challenge the status quo. And in return, I want the business understanding that sometimes my price is going to be too high, but in return, sometimes you're going to call me and say, I need something right away and you're a good customer. So I'm not going to charge you that rush fee. That's right. the kind of give and take that I want. And when we're really talking about um, going from customer to client, I think as you said, it, it really is about the relationship and it's about being in a position where you can ask questions like what else and who else okay. and what if, right? So you, you want to go from dealing with this one particular individual who orders this particular kind of product from you to meeting other people within the organization to getting in further, like you always talk about, Bill, and getting further upstream, getting into the creative process, being invited to meetings about projects before they even happen. Those are the kinds of things, those are the, the, the clues that you would know that you're in that very mutually dependent and mutually beneficial relationship. Cool. You're like almost getting married at this point. Now it's now it's getting hot and heavy. It's, it's good stuff. <laughs> Interesting analogy. Where do we, yeah. how do we get here? How I don't know. Happen? Are we in Vegas? Waking You're like, up you just hijacked my presentation. Is, is, is Elvis involved with this whole thing? <laughs> all right. So, so how do you get there then? Well, first of all, you, you know, you, you, you're, not, you're not reacting. You don't take a customer to a client by saying, what else have you got? Do you have anything now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Anything else coming up to bid? That's not how you're going to get there. Um, you might get more business, but it's going to be on price. Instead, you sell ideas. You stay ahead of the customer, but you you, you do some you know some uh, education uh, and some and some research. But you stay you uh, you're selling ideas. That's the point here. Now the second point, <laughs> when I was I was writing this, I was very clear on what I was thinking, and then when I gave it to Kelly and she said, "What does that mean?" I said, "I don't know." <laughs> All right, so Kelly. What, what would S do? And you said Seth Godin. That was your first right. thing out of your mouth. I thought, right. I thought Superman or San Diego, but what would Seth Godin do? Seth Godin wrote a book, and I, I can't remember. Honest to God, I can't remember what I meant by the S. Okay. So maybe it doesn't we'll, matter anymore. Now it means what we're saying right now. We're, saying, we're just right. Yeah. And no one will ever know because, heck, this isn't being recorded or anything. <laughs> what the S might be for Seth Godin. Seth Godin wrote a book called The Purple Cow. And the purple cow is about differentiation and being remarkable. So how do you get there? You make certain that you are challenging the status quo and staying remarkable. Because like, like what he said was, you know, it would be incredible to see a purple cow. You'd go crazy to see a purple cow. And then after a while, it'd be like, okay, all right, I saw the purple cow. What else is there? Mm -hmm. So that, you know, you're only as good as the last job you shipped in. I think that was my point, Kelly. I think it probably was. That's because you and I are just so, like, synced up, right? <laughs> yes, we are. 
Okay, so how do I stay ahead of my customer? Joe Webb used to say it's more important to, to stay ahead of your customer than it is your competition. How do I know if I'm not in the boardroom? Yeah, you're asking questions. You're again, you're um, you're thinking about more than just getting the order. You're thinking about what the intention is behind the project. So, for example, when a client calls you and says, "I need ten thousand four over four eight and a half by eleven trifolds," you say, "Why? What's the? What are you doing?" Yeah. Not just great, I'll get you a quote, but mm -hmm. what are you trying to do? What is the purpose of the piece, mm -hmm. and how will you know if it's successful? Mm -hmm. Just by virtue of asking those questions, you're differentiating yourself. You're saying, I'm not just an order taker. I want to help you get done what you're going to get done. Now, we say this all the time, but you have to be careful. An admin is not going to really appreciate that question, but an art director or a brand manager or a chief marketing officer will. So, you know, be, be careful about who you have those conversations with. But again, it's not just I'm an order taker, I'm standing by to take your order now, but I want to understand because I may have a different way to do this. I might have some suggestions about ways to incorporate new technologies into this piece to make it more effective. Increase the value of the document. There you go. Always talk about. Yep. Know where the client's going. Ask them, what are your challenges? What's going on? What's, your, what's on your front burner? What's keeping you up at night? All these good open-ended questions... You want to go, as Wayne Gretzky's dad, or, yeah, his dad said, you know, you, you want to go where the puck is going to be. Or maybe that was Wayne. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Uh, but the, the next point is to be grateful. Yeah. Sounds simple. It's funny, though. You know, someone says, I want to place a reorder with you, Kelly. I just need, you know, 5,000 of these. And all right, terrific. We'll get it for you. Piece of cake. You'll have it in a week. Click. What did I miss? Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. For your continued loyalty. Thank yeah, you for trusting it's important, me. It's important to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because the number one reason why we lose business is... Because people feel like we quit working for it. Yeah, they, and this is a part of it. A yeah. lack of appreciation. You know, even if they're a pain in the neck. Yeah. You know, it's the thank you, sir, may I have another, I suppose. But mm -hmm. it's still thank you. And then finally, never assume. Don't right. make any assumptions. The, the, the second that you say... Uh, I, I, you know, this is, uh, I, I am rock solid in this, in this account. They love me. That's an assumption. And one of the, the four, kiss of death. the kiss <laughs> of death. Yeah. One of four, one of the four, uh, four agreements is make no assumptions. Absolutely. So you are truly as good as the last job you shipped in, unless you're Kelly Malazzi and then you're, you're in you're, that's it. <laughs> you know, you're all over it. So thank you, Kelly, for this, uh, this week's Short Attention Span webinar. Thanks, Bill. And we'll talk to you all next week. So much love I give you, Kelly, you know? So much love. I, and I don't give it back. That's a shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm terrible. I'm very greedy that way. <laughs> That's right. I like every other woman in my life. <laughs>